When we first saw the house, I was totally drawn towards the details. I'm a lover of charming old homes. The house is 106 years old. It's a traditional home. So I loved the baseboards and the moldings and the chippy paint, the railings, the stained glass windows that we have at the front door, all of that stuff that originally came with the home. The style and direction of the house is traditional elements, but with an updated, fun, modern flair. So there's a bit of a mix. The design process began with thinking we only needed to renovate the kitchen, which there's a bit of a ripple effect when you renovate anything. So before we knew it, we had gutted the main floor, did the bathrooms upstairs, so it got away from us. <laughs> A new design approach that I tried out for this house that I don't typically do for other people is the front living room. The only color and pattern in the whole space is the rug. So all of the pillows are solid, quiet, calm. There's no pattern, there's no color except for that rug. And that's not a typical approach that we take with clients. I think I'll probably start now because I quite like it. I really love trying to mix in vintage whenever I can. I feel like it adds a certain soul to the home. Just tried to mix in the charm and the character with good quality, older pieces, breathing new life into them and throwing in some new where it was needed. It's very fun and exciting finding that item that just screams, oh my gosh, that's it, that's you, and then building from there. And at the end of the day, when the rooms are complete, hopefully they reflect the people living in them and they are a lovely curated mix of who those people are. I truly love many different styles of design. No one room has one look, working in a traditional piece of furniture with a modern light fixture and a contemporary accessory sometimes doesn't work. So you have to try different things out, but it's definitely a balancing act. My husband jokes that I have an issue with using too much gray, <laughs> which is probably true. Every room has some gray in it and each room is so soothing because of that, that they equally feel as livable and comfortable and like us. My husband is pretty open and he trusts me, which is lovely. That being said, I consider him with almost everything. So I'll get a few, I don't know, but usually when I can walk him through it and explain the vision and help him visualize what the end result will be, he's pretty good about letting me do my thing. And I think he's usually happy in the end. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I think he really enjoys the upstairs den. It's a really cozy space to watch TV, kick up your feet, light a fire. It gets great lighting, sun. It's just very comfortable and livable. I'm sure many parents out there wouldn't agree, but our house feels very practical. There's no white carpets. It's all livable and nothing's too precious to have that you can't go in there moment. It was designed and thought of for our future, which is family, and it works. Being a designer, nothing is ever done, but I am done for now and kicking my feet up and relaxing a bit. I've always wanted to live in an older house and breathe new life into it, and I think that's what we did, and we are so happy, and hopefully we'll be here for a while.